Hi there, I'm Paul Draper, and I'm an anthropologist, magician, and mentalist. Many people have seen the television show The Mentalist. Uh, the idea of mentalism is sort of like the work of Sherlock Holmes, one that is able to observe the body language, the ideas, the thoughts, the actions of others, and as such apparently read their minds. The earliest mentalists are probably the oracles of Delphi or other individuals throughout ancient history that were able to predict the future and pretend to read people's thoughts. Magic is something that can be practiced in isolation. As long as my hands are capable of performing it, uh, the magic trick always works. With mentalism, it has so many subtleties in how the individual reacts and feels uh, to be able to figure out what idea or word someone is trying to send to me. And so it's far more difficult than magic, uh, far less visual than magic, though magic is its brother. What you're seeing now is something that I developed when corporations asked me if I could work like a human lie detector and seek out who was telling the truth and who was lying. I give five people the opportunity to reach into a bag at random and pull out a colored piece of candy or a colored ball. And then we go through and ask questions and the audience and I learn together how to read body language, uh, vocal fluctuation that can showcase if people are telling the truth or telling a fib. In this piece, I am blindfolded with layers of steel, duct tape, cloth, wrapped around my head and face, and yet even blindfolded, I'm still able to discern what object someone is holding or what image someone is drawn without sight, just using my ability to hear, to contemplate, and decisions that I made about these individuals before I was blindfolded. The ability to bend metal apparently, with one's mind and thoughts alone. These spoons are solid steel spoons that you can buy at any restaurant supply store, and yet they fold and twist in my hand. Just like in the movie The Matrix, there is no spoon. People often ask if mentalism is real, and the answer is, I use a mix of magic, psychology, anthropology, mind reading, and some real stuff that's very clever in order to come together and to create the illusion of the extreme powers of the mind. Every year we learn more about our consciousness. Every year humanity grows in our ability to understand how we are all connected. Mentalism helps to open those doors and pathways and to help inspire scientists and others to reach out and learn more about what it is to be human.